it to grab it. Go pop a phone, play it, pop, pop it for me. Turn around and drop it for a plan, drop, drop it for me. I went to beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Lives to tell for dinner. Julio served that scampi. You got it if you want it. Got, got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Good morning, Central Crossing. Welcome to Thursday. I'm Jesse. I'm Zach. So it's still cold this morning, and I'm anxious to hear when the warm weather is coming. Tim and Deja, what can you tell us about the weather coming up? I'm also interested in spring break weather. Is it going to ever get warm? Hey, people that go to school. My name is T. Sean Clue II. And I'm Deja. Today's weather will be a high of 41 and a low of 23 with a wind speed of 4, so waggony miles per hour. Friday will be a high of 42 and a low of 24 with a wind speed of 4 miles per hour. Swaggity miles per hour. Spring break will ha have highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. So it doesn't seem like it'll be warming up anytime soon. That sucks. It really does. Anyway, lunch for today is garlic parmesan flatbread and not crazy nachos with Doritos. Ooh. With a side choice of corn. Corn! Well, that's it from us. What are you doing for spring break time? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna eat a head of lettuce. That's interesting. Back to you, Anchor. Thanks, guys. So we are closing in on spring break. Here's Gavin and Sarah with some ideas for that. Good morning, Sister Crossing. I'm Sarah. And I'm Gavin. And we are here to talk about your spring break ideas. The first thing you can do is go to the Columbus Zoo for only $14.99 if you are 10 to 59 years old, and ages 3 to 9 are $9.99. This is a fun way to spend your spring break and look at all the animals in the zoo and do new things. Next thing you can do is go to COSI. COSI is always planning new and fun exhibits to explore. For adults, 13 and up are $25. It is really expensive, but it's also really fun. If you're interested in art, plan to visit the Columbus Art Museum for only $14. It is a great way to learn about new paintings and artwork. Next, you can always go bowling for a cheap price. There are many locations to go bowling, such as Game of Western, Columbus, AMF Stardust Lanes, Tenpin Alley, and etc. If you also like to do laser tag, Game of Western in Columbus has laser tag. Lastly, you can go to the Chiller. Public skate is $8, and with the skate rental, it is $3. This is very cheap, if you ask me. All these ideas seem like really fun to do over spring break. Yeah, I agree. I might actually go to the children during spring break. Well, that's it from us. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks. Thanks. That sounds great. Well, Comet Olympics is coming up. Tickets are on sale during lunch for only $3, and today is the last day to buy tickets. So get your money together. You don't want to be left out. <laughs> You can also sign up to participate in the games, which include volleyball, basketball, ultimate football, dodgeball, broomball, tug of war, and of course, the real day race. This annual event is a lot of fun, and basically the entire school attends. The money raised ends up assisting for prom, so plan to get your ticket. And remember, each class is assigned a t-shirt color. Freshmen are gray, sophomores are comet blue, juniors are black, and seniors are white. Make sure you wear the right color tomorrow. Also at Common Olympics, a few of our male teachers may show up in high heels, which we call this hunks and heels. The money raised will go to Run Down the Demons, the Veterans Suicide Prevention Organization. You can donate during your lunch. You can donate for Mr. Corwell, Mr. Gottschall, Mr. Orban, Coach Cannon, Mr. Turner, Mr. Teich, Mr. Vincent, and Mr. Osborne. So collect your spare change and clean out your wallets. The man with the most donations at the end of six period Thursday will be shredding his stuff at Common Olympics. In addition, if you are interested in running a 5K April 7th, again to support Run Down the Demons, see Miss, G Miss Fuller or Mr. Gottschall. And here's another way to help veterans. Our NJROTC unit is sponsoring a health and comfort items drive for the veterans that are hospitalized at the VA hospital in Chillicothe, Ohio. Beginning after spring break on Tuesday, April 3rd, and running through May 11th, cadets are collecting shower items. Specifically, we are looking for travel-sized items such as shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, combs, hairbrushes, toothpaste, toothbrushes, chapstick, etc. Basically, hygiene items except for mouthwash or razor blades. And then at the end of May, NJROTC will provide a color guard for the annual motorcycle ride from the Moose Lodge located on Demers Road to the VA Hospital in Chillicothe, Ohio. These riders will escort the truck that will be loaded with these items to the hospital. Boxes will be available every day in the ROTC classroom for drop-off of these items beginning tomorrow. Next, Youth at the Booth is coming up. 
If you applied, please check your email. And if you have questions, see Miss Bodie in the library. Don't forget about crossing new bridges. Crossing new bridges applications are due to the attendance window or room 209 by the end of the day tomorrow. So be sure to find that last signature and drop it off. The CNV2 Leadership event is April 13th, and there are a few applications still available to pick up from Mrs. Whirl at the main reception desk. Next up, we have club news. Friend Club meets today at 3.30 in room 209. Also meeting today is Guitar Club after school in room 180. And then tomorrow, GSA meets with Mr. Osborne in room 264. Next, we have a reminder to sophomore class student council members that fundraiser orders and payments are due to Mrs. Barnes in 212A today. Now, let's head over to sports. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Caitlin, and I have all your sports information. We have some spring sports getting underway. Track practice has begun. If you have questions or you need any information, see Coach Cannon, Coach Hall, or Coach Candai. And then for fall sports, volleyball girls and soccer girls are both conditioning in the mornings. If you are interested in volleyball, see Ms. Shifley or Ms. Fuller for information. And then if you are interested in soccer, see Coach Williams in room 259. And I'm also loving the NCAA right now. What can you guys tell me? Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Nathan. And I'm Tyler. I'm here to talk to you guys about the predictions of the upcoming NCAA games today. Kansas State plays Kentucky, and we've taken, we're having Kentucky winning this game. Loyola Chicago takes off Nevada, and we have Loyola winning. Florida State plays Gonzaga, and we have Gonzaga over Florida State. Michigan plays Texas A&M, and we have Michigan winning. Villanova and West Virginia play, and we have Villanova taking the win. Texas Tech and Purdue play, and we have Purdue winning. Kansas and Clemson, and it'll be a close one, but Kansas will get the win. And finally, Syracuse and Duke, and we have another close game, but Duke coming out with the win. Well, that's all you need to know for the games coming up today. That's it for us. Back to you, Anchor. Thanks, guys. That's exciting. Well, that's all for today. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks. Next, we have news from our counseling office. The Grove City Chamber of Commerce scholarship is due. You need a 3.0 GPA for that one, and the deadline is tomorrow. Next, the Grove City United Methodist Church, that's the Purple Door Church, has a scholarship with the deadline of April 1st. Seniors, remember to keep checking the Naviance. There is money sitting there, and all you have to do is apply. Next up, we once again have Gavin and Sarah in the studio, this time with more information on staff superlatives. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Sarah. And I'm Gavin. And about three weeks ago, we voted on teacher superlatives. Today would be our last day we will announce the winners. The winners of most likely to win a rap battle are Mrs. Conti and Mr. Candai. Most likely to create more peace goes to Coach Har and Mrs. Conti. Most likely to brighten your day goes to Mr. Denny and Mrs. Hallock. Most likely to pack a bag and travel goes to Mr. Teich and Mrs. Fisher. And lastly, most quotable goes to Mr. Fares, Mr. Osborne, and Ms. Chris Foley. That's all from us. Have a good day, Central. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Sarah and Gavin. Our NJROTC air rifle team was victorious last night and took first place at the first annual Grove City air rifle match held at Central Crossing last night. A total of three teams competed. They include Central Crossing, Grove City Christian, and Grove City. The Comets were led by senior Connor Hartshorn, who had the high score of the match, a total of 266 points out of a possible 300. In second place overall was the rifle team commander, Junior Gage Cross, who shot a 259. The third place overall shooter was sophomore Malik Alvarati with a score of 248. And then Destiny Watkins, also a sophomore, shot a 240. And finally, sophomore Tori Riley was fifth with a score of 222. So we had the five highest scores. That's impressive. So congratulations to the shooting stars, the NJRTC Air Rifle Team of Central Crossing. Well, that's it for today, Central. Have a great Thursday. See you tomorrow.